Another approach was we know that your immune system releases certain types of hormones that boost the immune response, again, in response to infections. I'll give you an example, interleukin-2 or GMCSF. And these and very many others, because there's quite literally dozens of different kinds of hormones your immune system unleashes when there's an infection. And a lot of investigators have tried to take these hormones and a synthetic recombinant version of it and give it as shots to see if it helps to fight cancer. And very few have panned out. Interleukin-2 is used to treat patients that have advanced uh, skin cancer melanoma or advanced kidney cancer, but only a very, very small fraction of patients really benefit. Maybe 10 out of 100 that get the treatment. But you need to give such large doses that all 100 patients are really, really, really sick. And that's the only one that's really been approved. All the others didn't work out either because they were not effective or the side effect of the doses required to achieve benefit is so high or so large that it wasn't worth it.